Hey guys, it's Ellis97 here again today and I'm gonna teach you how to make a simple skeleton looter. All you'll need is some cobblestone, uh, some water, pressure plates, wood or stone, and torches to light up the room. Okay, as you can see I've just got the basically the normal dungeon here, skeleton dungeon. This works for skeletons and zombies, so yeah. So first just get rid of these. Okay. First thing you're gonna need to do is start by getting rid of the floor on doesn't matter what side but like that okay then I like to do it three high then it goes one two three four goes eight wide from here this way so you've got four five six seven eight and just dig that out all the way across, all in here. And three high. And then you'll need to go one more. But leave that one there just slide it up so you can see a bit better so then you sh the water should only reach to this one here yes okay Oopsie. okay now dig four down here right at the end one two three four all the way across again And then dig from two across. Okay, so there's a drop which from here goes one, two, three, four, five, six. And then next to it, there's a two space gap. And underneath here, you're just going to need to get rid of that. Now I'm going to dig around the side here so I can get down there. Now that is uh, I've installed x-ray just for this guy, so I'll just put a uh, that, does that show up on x-ray? Yes. Okay, just put that there. You, d you don't have to do that, I'm just doing it to show you guys. Okay, go a bit higher. Okay, you can see where I've placed this, so here should be open, yeah, so you can see that, um, don't destroy this, I'm just showing you, um, so if we destroy that, then we have And this. Then, just gonna make a room in here. So I'll make it a bit higher.
again guys, this is really simple and it works really efficiently. Okay. So now, I'll just cover up this wall again. Okay, so it should look something like this at the moment. From here to here is nine blocks. From here to here is four blocks from here to this is two blocks and then there's a thing so they can't get through there and then the items will go down into here I'll show you how okay I'll put water there you put water all the way along here just along that surface there that will push them down into here so make sure it's not going over the top and then uh, you put water here 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 so where it starts to go under well, it should just just make it under this thing here Okay, so the skeletons will spawn and you wouldn't think it, but they fall down here very quickly. They don't walk around up here very much. They fall down here, get pushed down here. And then they drop into here and then they drown here. And the items will go... down into here and this is what the pressure plates are for pressure plates are, aren't um, you don't need pressure plates you could use slabs or even just blocks like that and just jump in but I like to be able to see what's there so I just put some doesn't matter if they're stone or wooden pressure plates but I just put pressure plates along here so water doesn't flow over them and you can easily just collect the items stand here and collect the items but you need to make sure you s oh. okay that was weird Alright, so yes, yeah, the items will be pushed down into here and you'll just be able to collect them. But you got to make sure you're standing pretty well, pretty much on the pressure plates. I think you'll be standing a couple of blocks back, but or uh, closer to it, otherwise, they won't spawn because you're too far away. So I'll show you how it works. I'll get rid of the torches up there. Obviously you can make this pathway however you want, but I'll just, um, put some bars here so I can show you what it will look like. Ah, no. Okay, if they want to take me. Okay. Alright, 
so we get rid of the torches up here they won't spawn if there's light here they're already spawning okay this is just night vision basically okay see how they spawn they fall down into here and then after some time they will start drowning well he won't there but when he dies he will okay so they're stuck under here and he started to drown and then his items will just go underneath there okay there you go see he's doing it too his the items go under there occasionally they get stuck in this bit but very rarely the items just go under there and this one's going a bit slow paced but a lot of the time a lot more spawn so I'll go down the bottom and show you where the items come out okay as you can see the items are just coming out here So yeah, I'll just stand here, okay, I don't know if this is the 1.3.2 update, the reason these keep popping out, but I don't know, you can use slabs or, and yeah, okay, slabs might be the better option, fresh plates used to work, but Okay, so you can stand in here and you've got a skeleton looter. They'll fall in and you collect their arrows and bones. Let's see. Okay, so now I'm in survival. I can show you do works. Stand in here. Oh. Wait for the items to drop and just see they are just drowning in there. No items from that one. That's unlucky. See how many skeletons are spawning up in there. You can end up with stacks and stacks of bones and arrows with this spawner. It's really simple and really easy. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and it helped you at all. It helped you. Um, please subscribe. Um, Subscribe, like, and comment. And thanks for watching.